Uh, New, Zealand, uh, New Zealand's biggest fishing company is being criticised by a European human rights group for operating in disputed waters off Africa. Sea Lord is said to be involved in deals to market fish caught from waters off the Western Sahara, which has been occupied by Morocco for over 30 years. Nick Butcher reports. A ceasefire between Morocco and Western Sahara rebels has been in place since 1991, but conflict remains over Morocco's exploitation of Western Saharan resources. Sea Lord is accused of being party to this because of its shareholding in a company called Euro Pacific, which processes fish caught in Western Saharan waters by a Moroccan company. Javier Garcia La Chica is a spokesperson for the human rights group Western Sahara Resource Watch. Any company in the world, and this is the case of uh, Euro Pacifico and Sea Lord, that is making business uh, on this trade of fishing products from Western Sahara is also going against the international law. They are giving signs of supporting the occupation of Morocco. Mr Lechika says most Western countries oppose the occupation, including the New Zealand government. This country supports a UN call for a referendum of Western Saharan people on independence. Mr Lechika says the Sea Lord deal puts the New Zealand government in a difficult position. If the New Zealand government is uh, by one side saying that uh, we have to support the UN efforts uh, for the conflict, but by the other hand, they are not clearly saying their companies that they have to stop making business on this area. So there's a clear controversy. Sea Lord wouldn't comment on the fishing agreement, but confirmed its shareholding in Euro Pacifica. New Zealand has already angered Western Saharan independence groups by also importing phosphates from Western Sahara. The independence group Fronte Polisario says it's disappointed a New Zealand company is again involved in trading Western Saharan resources on behalf of Morocco. Its spokesperson is Kamal Fidel. This is really uh, wrong. It is illegal and ethical and immoral for a New Zealand company to be involved in the theft of a resource that belongs to the people of Western Sahara. The Minister for Trade, Phil Goff, says Morocco is aware of this country's support for decolonisation in Western Sahara, but he says there is UN agreement to the exploitation of Western Saharan resources as long as its people benefit. The United Nations Under Secretary for Legal Affairs, a man by the name of Hans Corral, issued a statement which basically said it was compatible to extract resources from a non-self-governing territory, provided that it was for the benefit of the peoples of those territories. But Javier Garcia La Chica of the Western Sahara Resource Watch says Morocco is the beneficiary, not the people of Western Sahara. This money is going directly to the Moroccan government and uh, this uh, money is supporting the occupation. Even Mr Goff concedes it's hard to know for sure where the money goes. It's very hard for New Zealand to know precisely what the value of the extraction of resources is and what the value is of the Moroccan investment in the Western Sahara for the benefit of its people. But we take our direction from the United Nations. Phil Goff says he raised the issue of exploitation of Western Sahara's fish and phosphate during a trade mission to Morocco in January. Meanwhile, the UN is urging Morocco and Western Saharan independence group Fronte Palisario to enter fresh negotiations over the disputed territory. How this will affect the fishing deal Sea Lord has with its Moroccan partners remains to be seen. For Morning Report, Nick Butch.